praise the Lord. Ace Choir welcomes you in this virtual Holy Mass. Before we begin the Mass, I request all of you to keep your phones in silent mode. Today's main celebrant of the Mass is Reverend Monsignor Raymond and the homily is given by Father Arianus. Give our whole self and prepare ourselves and ask forgiveness from God so that He can clean us, He can make us clean and we may be able to receive Him through this mass and become a new person and glorify him. Let's make sign of the cross in the name of the, the Father, Father and of the Son and, and of the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Let's all rise for entrance in. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and, and with your spirit. spirit. My beloved, uh, usually we start off my sisters and brothers, but since Paul uses that word today, we think about the fact that we are the beloved of God. As God's beloved, sometimes we go astray. So let us call upon the Lord, who is full of grace and mercy. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, by your love, you forgave us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, out of love for us, you rose from the dead and opened the gates of eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and desires of all who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what the conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. First reading. A reading from the book of Deuteron Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verse 15 to 20. Moses spoke to all people, saying, A prophet like me will the Lord. Your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen. This is exactly what you requested to the Lord, your God, at Horeb, on the day of the assembly, when you said, Let us not again hear the voice of the Lord, our God, nor see this great fire any more, lest we die. And the Lord said to me, this was well said, I will raise up for them a prophet like you among their kin, and will put my words into his mouth. He shall tell them all that I, commanded, I command him. Whoever will not listen to my words, which he speaks in my name, I myself will make him answer for it. But if a prophet presumes to speak in my name an an oracle that I have not commanded him to speak or speaks in the name of other gods, he shall die. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. For Sam's, your response will be, If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Your response, If, if today, today you, you hear, hear his voice, harden, harden not your, your hearts. hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with, with thanksgivings. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. Your response. If, if today, today you hear his voice, harden, harden not, not your hearts. hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. Your response, if, if today, today you hear his, his voice, harden, harden not, not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as at Meribah, as in the day of Massah in the desert. Where your fathers tempted me, they tested me, though they, have, they had seen my words. Your response? If, if today, today you, you hear this voice, harden, harden not, not your hearts. Second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 7 verses 32 to 35. Brothers and sisters, I should like 
you to be free of anxieties an unmarried man is anxious about the things of the lord how he may please the lord but a married man is anxious about the things of the world how he may please his wife and he is divided an unmarried woman or a virgin is anxious about the things of the lord so that she may be holy in both body and spirit a married woman on the other hand in, is anxious about the things of the world how she may please her husband i am telling you this for your own benefit not to impose a restraint upon you but for the sake of prosperity and adherence to the lord without distraction the word of the lord thanks be Thank to god let's all rise for acclamation The Lord be with you and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter one, verses twenty-one to twenty-eight. They went to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath came, he entered the synagogue and taught. They were astounded at his teaching. for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes just then there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit and he cried out what have you to do with us jesus of nazareth have you come to destroy us i know who you are the holy one of god but jesus rebuked him saying be silent and come out of him and the unclean spirit convulsing him and crying with a loud voice came out of him they were all amazed and they kept on asking one another what is this a new teaching with authority he commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him at once his fame began to spread throughout the surrounding region of galilee This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, COVID-19 turned the world upside down. It seems like nothing is the same as it used to be. As well as the pandemic situation, many countries are facing challenges. More and more refugees try to find new places to start a better life, so they abandon their homes, families and countries. Moreover, people are losing their trust in political systems. It becomes obvious that in many countries, those in positions of leadership are failing to use their authority well. Countless of them are not accepted by their own citizens. even some governments and heads of states were recently forced to resign because of corruption today like never before we need honest optimistic and courageous leaders who would serve the people and stand for the truth no matter how inconvenient it might be for some people dear friends i think 
We need a new kind of leadership, not only globally and politically, but in our homes, in our workplaces, in our schools and faith communities. Sometimes I wonder whether we are aware that each one of us, baptized people, are called to a certain type of leadership, according to our abilities. First of all, we desperately need parents who clearly understand that they are the most important and first spiritual educators of their households. They need to be leaders according to God's heart, who will be true witnesses to their children of gospel values. We need parents who will exercise their authority, encouraging their children to live truly sacramental lives. If you are a parent, please ask yourself, am I such a leader? If not, what do I need to change to become one? Moreover, we urgently need members of the Church spiritually strong who will not be ashamed to practice their faith publicly. For example, a simple yet powerful sign of the cross before a meal at a restaurant or at a factory during lunch break may produce a huge impact on others. Who knows how many people would stop and think, even for a short time, about their faith or lack of it when witnessing someone praying before a meal. The question is, are we ready to do that? Also, we badly need leaders who will be not silent in front of those who oppose God's commandments and the Church's teaching. Brothers and sisters, on the day of our baptism, we became priests, prophets and kings. We were anointed for a certain mission on earth and became like Christ. Jesus showed us an example of how to put into practice the authority we were given. In today's Gospel, we see him teaching with authority in the synagogue. Then he commanded an unclean spirit to be quiet and to come out of a possessed man. Above all, we need to allow Jesus to break the chains of our fears in order to help us to use our Christian authority, especially if we are parents. We need to invite the Lord into our families, schools and workplaces, so that he could, through our ministry, free the people from unclean spirits that are behind pride, envy, lust, anger, gluttony, greed and so on. These are the seven deadly sins people tend to forget about in our times. We have to be aware that those sins consciously committed disconnect people, fully or partially, from God. It makes me sad seeing good people who consciously avoid any participation in the sacraments of the Church. Are they all simply too busy? I don't think so. I know that sometimes some of them experience mysterious forces holding them back from practicing their faith. There are people in our society who are unable to make a sign of the cross or to say a simple prayer even though they were baptized. Many in our society feel an emptiness and a lack of desire to read or listen to the Word of God. These are the consequences of allowing sin to enter their hearts and not doing anything about it. Brothers and sisters, let us have courage to face our weaknesses every single day. I think the best time for an examination of conscience is in the evening, when we can quietly recognize our failures which happened during the day and thank God for all the good things we did. When we are aware about our sinful tendencies and expose them before the Lord, He will transform our darkness into the light of His grace. And, moreover, 
we will fulfill our baptismal vocation and be able to be authentic leaders, helping others to find God's loving and healing presence. Let's all rise. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator, Creator of heaven and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, Christ His only Son, Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise, praise and glory of his name, name for, for our good and good, good of all his, his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously the complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Father Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of now being called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy people, a nation for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own marvelous light, and so with the angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
more holy indeed, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. My, my Lord, Lord, my, my God. God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Lord, my, Lord, my, my God. God. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this song, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember your church, Lord, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Francis of Assisi, and all who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, I'm not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say a word, word and, my and my soul shall, shall be healed. not receive the Holy Communion, let us remember our best moment and our first Holy Communion when we received the body and blood of Christ. Remembering that, let us partake in the spiritual communion by saying this prayer. O Immaculate Queen of, of heaven, heaven and earth, earth Mother, Mother of God and, and Mediator of every grace, I believe, I believe that, that your, your dearly, dearly beloved Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, is truly, real, and, and substantially contained in the Most Holy Sacrament. I, I love him above all things, and long to receive him in my heart. Since, since now I cannot receive him sacramentally, be so good to place, to place him spiritually in my soul. soul. And, and never, never permit, permit me to be, to be separated, separated from, from him. Amen. Amen. Father, everlasting God, for having been pleased through no merit of mine, but of your great mercy alone, to feed me a sinner and your unworthy servant, with the precious body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that this holy communion may not be for my judgment and condemnation, but for my pardon and salvation. Let this Holy Communion be to me an armor of faith and a shield of goodwill, a cleansing of all vices and a rooting out of all evil desires. May it increase love and patience, humility and obedience, and all virtues. May it be a firm defense against the evil designs of all my visible and invisible enemies, a perfect quieting of all the desires of soul and body. May the Holy Communion bring about a perfect union with you, the one true God. 
and at last enable me to reach eternal bliss when you will call me. I pray that you bring me a sinner to the indescribable feast where you, with your Son and the Holy Spirit, are to your saints, true light, full blessedness, everlasting joy, and perfect happiness through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us say together a prayer for priests of St. Therese of Lisieux. O Jesus, eternal priest, keep your priest within the shelter of your sacred heart, where none may touch them. Keep unstained their anointed hands, which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, daily purpled with your precious blood. Keep pure and unearthly their hearts, sealed with the sublime mark of the priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruit and may the souls to whom they minister be their joy and consolation here and in heaven, the beautiful and everlasting crown. Amen. Grant Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers, we thank you for joining us in this Holy Mass, and we invite you to invite your family members or those who are near with you, whoever's in your bubble, to come and, and to participate in this Mass together. Uh, we wish you peace, the peace of Christ that passes all understanding. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. is written 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 4 
verse 15 but just as he who called you is holy so be holy in all you do for it is written be holy because i am holy help us above that we may walk in this word of god strive to become holy for this we pray our father who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name thy, thy kingdom come thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven, heaven. give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead, lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil to intercede for us because to become a holy person first we need to be an obedient child do intercede for us that we may always be obedient to God we may always listen to him and do his will Hail Mary full of, full of grace, grace the Lord is with thee blessed are thou amongst, amongst women, women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be. Let us say the memorandum together. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to thee, O Virgin of virgins. My mother, to thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Virgin Mary, Pray, pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Faustina. Pray for us. Saint Mother Teresa. Pray for us. Saint John Paul II. Pray for us. Saint Jose Maria Scriva. Pray for us. Sacred Heart of Jesus. I trust in thee. Let us make sign of the cross. In, in the, the name, name of, of the, the Father, Father and, and of the Son and, and of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you friends for joining us in this virtual Holy Mass and have a blessed week ahead.